All right, so we're trying to solve a problem which appeared in JMA in 2024. In this question, we have been given a triangle and then there is a question of line which is the bisector of angle B and then the uh, some other information is given. So we will just write down all the information here. So there is a triangle like this given to us, which is ABC. And then we have got an angle bisector, which is the line Y equals to X. So there is an angle bisector, which is going like this. And this line is actually Y equals to X. And then this line AC is given by 2X minus Y equals to 2. There are other information as well given, but 2AB is actually equal to BC. Now we are supposed to find out alpha and beta of this coordinate is point of this is given. And then we are supposed to find out the value of alpha plus two beta. That is what we are supposed to find out. So, so a lot of information is given. So we have to start going ahead with those information and then see that what else we can do here. So one thing is that as this is uh, an equation of a line y equals to x, and then this line's equation is given, I can find out this point. And uh, from this point, we will try to find out this point. And once we found out this point, then again, we will make use of this information, which is given to me as 2B equals to B, right? So let's find this out. So when you try to find out the intersection point of it, you can substitute y equals to x, then this will give 2x minus x equals to 2. And this will give you x equals to 2. When x is 2, y is also 2. So this point has come out to be 2 comma 2. Now this is the angle bisector, right? Now we also know there is a property that if this is the angle bisector, call it D, B, D. <clears throat> then this will divide uh, the base into the same ratio of the sides. So that ratio is also given to us because 2AB is actually given equal to BC. Like I said that AB is 2, BC is actually equal to 1 is to 2. When you say this is 1 is to 2, then this AD is to DC will, will be 1 is to 2. So you could say that this is also going to be 1 and this is going to be 2. The coordinate of A is also given, which is 4, 6. Now, using this, I can find out the coordinate of C. Right? So I can use my section formula and we know that, let's call this coordinate as H, K. So according to the section formula, my MX2, so 1 into H plus NX1, which is 2 into 4, divided by N plus N, which is 1 plus 2. That should be equal to my X coordinate, which is 2 itself. And similarly, MY2, which is 2 into 6, into 6 plus 1 into k divided by m plus n, this is 1 plus 2, should be equal to 2 itself. Now from here, what do I get? I get h equals 2. This is 2 into 3, which is 6. 6 minus 8, which is going to give me minus 2. Similarly, from here, I'll get k equals 2. 2 into 3, which is 6, 6 minus 12, you shall give me minus 2. So my coordinate of this point has come out to be minus 2, comma minus 6. Now, there is this final step, but we cannot also understand as this line y, uh, this line is y equals to x, and b is also lying on it, then it means that alpha and beta should satisfy this as well, right? So this means that beta should be actually equal to alpha. Right, because it is actually lying on the line y equals to x. Now we have got all this information, we will substitute here, like we will find out the distance of AB and BC and then try to find out the value of alpha from there. So we can say that 4AB square should be equal to BC square because 2AB was given equal to BC. So 4 times, uh, we can write 4 times AB square, which is AB square will be now square root. We can remove and we can say that this is going to be X2 minus X1, which is 4 minus 
alpha whole square plus six minus beta whole square, which is I can write it as six minus alpha whole square, six minus alpha whole square. Now this is gonna be equal to BC square, which is alpha plus two whole square plus again alpha plus six whole square. So we will find out this will become four times and this will become 16 plus alpha square minus eight alpha. Alpha square minus eight alpha. And thus I can write that 36 plus alpha square minus 12 alpha. And this side I can write as alpha square plus four plus four alpha plus alpha square plus 36 plus 12 alpha. Now let's try resolving all this. So alpha square and alpha square, two alpha square into four will be eight alpha square. Similarly, minus eight alpha minus 12 alpha will be 20 alpha into four will be minus 80 alpha. 16 and 36 will be 52, right? Um, so 16 and 36 will be 52, 52 into four will be uh, 204, right? So 208. And here we will get alpha square and alpha square two alpha square. And then we will get four alpha plus 12 alpha, which is 16 alpha. And 36 plus four is 40. Now from here I get six alpha square. Then we will get six alpha square and minus 80 alpha minus six, minus 96 alpha. And then 208 minus 40 will be 168 equals to zero. Now, can I take six common from here? If I take six common from here, what do I get? I get alpha square minus 16 alpha and plus 28. Right, so let's check. So, Chayadana Bara, Chayadana Bara, 28. So zero. Now we get alpha square minus 16 alpha plus 28 equals to zero. Now we can factorize this. And once we factorize, we will get alpha square minus 2 alpha minus 14 alpha plus 28 equals to zero. From here we get alpha common, alpha minus two. From here, minus 14 common, alpha minus two equals to zero. Then we get alpha minus 14, then alpha minus two equals to zero. Then we get two values of alpha, alpha is 14 and two. So, Two can be rejected. Why? Because see, it is when alpha and beta is two, basically this is the point. Actually, it is also actually equidistant from A and C, but we don't want that one, but rather we want this point B. So B is come out to be 14, 14. So 14, 14 is the point. This is what is my point B. Basically, beta is also 14. Now we have to find out alpha plus two beta, alpha plus two beta will be 42 then, right? That will be 42. And this is what will be my answer. All right. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, you ask me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.